everybody. Vincent Gutierrez says hello to the neighborhood community as well. Okay, so let's get started. It's time for, did you guys notice? <laughs> no more sling, officially, per my doctor. <laughs> That's right. Of course, she's been without it for... Shh. She doesn't listen to me. Shh. Shh. I don't have to wear it anymore. It's time for <laughs> neighborhood community shout outs. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay. Thoughts and prayers. Angie Lupus Life's cousin Bryant fell off the slide at school. And when he fell, he punctured a lung, broke his wrist, and tore his liver. Ouch. Keep them in your thoughts and prayers, guys. Okay. Niamh Maloney, welcome to the neighborhood. So my question from yesterday was, what is the most embarrassing thing you've seen someone else do? Okay. And Tresemme won. My mom is very conservative and does not like to do silly things in public. Her sisters came out for a visit, and all the ladies went to a restaurant for lunch. She had a few margaritas, and she usually loosens up when her sisters come up to visit. So, when her sister was finishing her cigarette, they were waiting out front, and her mother grabbed the pole from the awning and starts to twirl around it and did the whole back up to it while holding on above it, above her head. You know, like the stripper moves do on a stripper pole. No idea what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah, okay. And then did another little move. We all just looked at her and started laughing. Not at her, but truly with her. She was cracking up. It was the funniest thing ever. Okay, and this one's kind of funny. Daily Rambles. I saw a girl try to do the hair flip around the sexy way, and then her wig fell off. <laughs> I hate it when that happens. Terry Johnson. The most embarrassing thing I saw was in fifth grade. This girl was dressed as a hula dancer, and her top fell off in front of the whole class. That's got to be traumatizing. I'm, that has got to stick with you the rest of your life. Jess Lucero. Most embarrassing thing I've seen. My sister was going to school at the University of Montana. I was over visiting her one weekend, and we went to the student union building to get something to eat. When we walked in, I walked through the open door, and my sister slammed into the plate glass window. Bam! Beside the door. She thought it was the other side of the open door. It was pretty funny. I've done that. I was hosting my company's Christmas party one time. And I was bringing people in. And it was at my boss's house. And I was bringing people in the house and out to the back. And I had left the sliding glass door open while somebody closed it. And I went, bam, right in the sliding glass door in front of everybody that I work with. Very embarrassing. Jack Salmon. Um, this is kind of embarrassing, but also kind of sad. Um, embarrassing thing I saw in the Army one day, rainy day, jackets on. This young guy decided to put his bayonet knife on the end of his M16 rifle to stick the rifle into the dirt. The jacket caused him to put the knife into the top of his boot and right through his foot. Ow! I guess he was going nowhere. <laughs> he was planted for a little while, wasn't he? Okay, and then... Did you get a purple heart out of that one? <laughs> the last one I, I, I have to read is from Crimson Fairy. <laughs> she did not see this one herself, but her roommate happened to see it. 
someone fell backwards. It wasn't a wheelchair. She said wheelchair, but it was one of those little walker things um, at Kaiser Hospital. And I could tell you the entire story. Someone was sitting in one of those little walker things and somebody else was pushing. And those little walker things aren't meant to be used as wheelchairs. And they don't go up and over bumps very easily. So the person who was pushing the person who was sitting thought if we went really fast and up and over this bump, we could make it. Or the person who was pushing um, hit the bump and the walker with the person who was sitting went BAM! Flat on the back in between sliding doors to go from what? Out inside one building to outside. Code blue! Code blue! All these doctors and nurses came running. Do you know why I know this story so very well? I was the one in the walker! Thank you for reminding me about that, Crimson! <laughs> it was very embarrassing because I also had a dress on! <laughs> and the dress went up! <laughs> what is something that you've seen happen to someone? Uh, probably the most embarrassing for the person that did it, <clears throat> I saw, it was when I was in high school, and some, some guy was uh, pulling up in his, uh, Mustang, we're talking, uh, I, this would have been around 1977, I'm old, and so he had just gotten his, uh, not a brand new, but uh, a muscle car, it was a Mustang, Probably a Mach 1 it was a big. It was one of the bigger Mustangs, and uh, so he's driving along. He's he's sh you know showing off everybody on the street who are walking home from school, and he accidentally hit the um, he meant to hit the brakes but hit the gas, jumped the curb, went under the chain link fence. And uh, was in, and landed on the inside of the, the school campus. So scratching a whole hood of his car, and uh, oh, it would have been pretty embarrassing. So then he had to drive through the school to get out. <laughs> you know, it's funny that yours and mine both have to do with cars. I was with my sister Karina, I believe. And we were shopping for a car. And while we were on the, the lot, these guys in this car drove past us doing cat calls and, you know, whistling and all this stuff. And obviously not paying much attention to where they were going because they rear-ended the truck that was in front of them. Yeah. They were pretty embarrassed because they were trying to impress us. And then, bam! Wasn't impressed. <laughs> Five channels that I want to shout out for for tonight is The Milm Life. Go check her out. She is a awesome lady who does, um, supports people of uh, abuse. She is a survivor of abuse, many different types of abuse, and she's awesome. So go, go check her out. Lucy Owl. Everybody knows how much we love Lucy Owl. She is married to Bones, and she is our daughter-in-law, and we absolutely love her. She's awesome. Go check her out. Katie Caroline. She came to us when she had nine subs, and she's like, I want to, can you guys sub to me? I want to have ten subs. We sub to her. And then our goal was to get her to a hundred subs, and I think she's like a almost 300 or something like that now. So, Katie Caroline is an awesome vlogger. Go check her out. Veronica Bates. She is vlogs with Tiger TV 65. They do a lot of hikes and all that kind of stuff. She's awesome. Go check her channel out. And I know I don't need to give this channel a shout out, but I'm going to anyway because she's one of my closest friends, family, I feel like her mother half the time, 
and she's just plain old awesome, your favorite, Nikki. Nikki Vlogs. Go check her out. She just started her own channel, guys. Um, John's got many of his own channels. It was about time Nikki did one of her own. So go check that out. Okay. And my question for tonight is, are you superstitious? Give us an example. Knock on my head like that. Knocking on wood. Yeah, well, don't knock on my wood. I mean, my head. I think you should leave that one in. It's time for... Oh, jeez, it's about time. <coughs> I think she'd ever get to me. All right, guys, we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Fingers, <enough> time. <laughs> it's time for Neighborhood Community Credit Roll. Beep, beep. <laughs> All right, so last night was... Uh, last night's trivia question was about Nightmare on Elm Street which had Jackie Earl Haley playing uh, Freddy Krueger. And uh, there's, the question was, why, what well, had so much security around it? And it was the, the glove uh, that Freddy Krueger had because um, the original glove from the first three movies disappeared in the, uh, the middle of the third movie. Uh, there's a little bit of controversy as to whether it was actually stolen on where the glove is now because it depends on the source. It was just actually, it could have been either lent out and a return or someone actually stole it off the set of uh, the Dream Warrior, which was the, the number three, which was directed, actually directed by Wes Craven. So, but there's a, was a little game being played back and forth between Wes Craven, who does the uh, Nightmare on Elm Streets, and Sam Raimi who is um, the um, director of the Evil Dead series. And uh, it all started with the uh, Hills Have Eyes. There was a poster uh, of, from Jaws and it was torn. And I uh, assume the idea is that the, the torn poster meant that this movie was scarier than Jaws. And so when uh, Sam Raimi did the Evil Dead, he had a poster of the Hills Had Eyes that was torn. So that it would, um, they say that ours is scarier than, than Wes Craven's movie. So when Wes Craven finally made uh, Nightmare on Elm Street, Nancy falls asleep while watching Evil Dead. So you check it out. Evil Dead's on the TV. Uh, then, um, uh, when they did Evil Dead 2, the glove shows up in the shed where he's putting the uh, saw into his hand. So it, it, I, it could be, there could be more but uh, Sam Raimi and Wes Craven are both characters, and it could be gone through all the movies, but those are the ones that I'm aware of. Um, now, I, I know that it was lent to Sam Raimi, but um, some of the uh, article says that it was actually stolen off of the set of uh, Dream Warriors. So, there's that. That was long-winded. Who got it right? People who got it right was Terry Johnson, YouTube Guy 1985, Tanya Longley, Bambi S, and Greg Myers. Woohoo! Tonight's question is a simple one. The movie Mirrors from 2008, starring Kiefer Sutherland, was um, he's a security guard in a burned out building in New York. New York. Yo, you got a problem with New York? I got no problem with New York. You better not have okay. a problem with New York. We'd take this outside, what, buddy. What building was used for the movie? In New York. Yo, Joey, what building was used in New York? I know no. you're from Jersey, but no. come on. That's it. That's it. That's it. What building was used? Okay. That's it. You all are part of our name. Oh, wait. There you have it. There's your trivia question for tonight. You are all part of our neighborhood community, each and every one of you out there. We would not be here if it weren't for all of you out there. We love you all very much. What'd you do? Disappointed. Thumbs up.
Make sure to go by and check out everything else we have going on right now. And we will see you tomorrow.